let's solve some more questions on binary operation or i can say closure property so let's try this question a lot of question you can see so just pause the video and try all of them which of them is binary operation so the following are attempts to define a binary operation on a set okay but are they actually binary operations on the given set so this is our question our question is asking so can i say that this is a binary operation on set of integers a star b a minus 20 20 can i say this is a binary operation on set of integers yes this is a binary operation on set of integers because if you take any two integers okay so remember if you take any two integers any two integers you take then what is a star b a star b is basically a minus 20 20 so if you take any two integer a comma b if you take any two integer then the binary operation this a star b that is same as a minus 20 20 so you can notice yes definitely this is an integer definitely this is an integer so i can say that yes i can say that this on this set on set of on set of integers this binary operation this binary operation a star b equal to a minus 20 20 this binary operation okay this binary operation is closed so i can say yes this is a binary operation on set of integers so for example if i ask you like what is minus 2 star 2 so what that will be that will be minus 2 minus 20 20 so the answer will be minus 20 okay so this so for example if i ask you what is 3 star 3 so that will be 3 minus 20 20 okay and so you can just find out so finally if i ask you for example what is 3 star 5 so that also will be 3 minus 20 20 okay so this is the idea so this option a this is a binary operation on set of integers but remember this is not a binary operation on set of natural number okay if you have set of natural number and if you define this operation so let me define this operation and this operation is a minus 20 20 i now i can say this is not a binary operation on n so i can say this is a not a binary operation this is not a binary operation because the closure property is not satisfied you can notice this is not closed for example if i take if i take this value like a equal to 2 b equal to 3 if i take then what is a star b a star b that will be 2 minus 20 20 and you can notice this is not a natural number this is not this is not in our base set so i can say that this operation this operation this bind this operation is not a binary operation on set of natural number next okay so on set of positive real numbers can i say this is a binary operation a star log b on set of positive real numbers this is not a binary operation on set of positive real number because what you can do so this is the operation that is given to you okay on set of positive real number and you are defining this operation and the operation is like this that a star b if you take any two real number any two positive real number if you take then you are getting a log b okay so let's assume the log base is 2 okay so you can take log base as 2 so finally from here let's assume the log base is 2 then then can i say this is a binary operation again this is not a binary operation so this star this is not a binary operation this is not a binary operation on set of positive real number why because for example you can take a equal to 1 and you you can take positive real number you can take 1 by 2 you can take b equal to 1 by 2 so you can notice this is a positive real number this is also positive real number so if you take these two things from your base set then what will be a star b a star b will be a log base by 2 so that will be basically log b b is win b is 1 by 2 b is 1 by 2 log base 2 and what is that you can apply this rule so this rule we know that log of m by n that is equal to log of m minus log of n so you can apply this rule so from here you will get log of 1 minus log of 2 okay so you can notice log 1 is 0 and log 2 base 2 log 2 base 2 that is 1 so 0 minus 1 is minus 1 and you can notice this minus 1 does not belong this does not belong to set of positive real number so i can say that this is not a binary operation so this is not a binary operation on set of positive real numbers okay next on set of non negative integers on set of non negative integers means say on set of whole numbers can i say this is a binary operation yes this is a binary operation because what this operation is saying this is your option number c on set of whole numbers you are defining this operation and this operation is that a star b that is equal to a minus b absolute value function so what is this this is this will give you absolute value this will make everything positive so remember this is absolute value function this is your absolute value function what it means 
so for example if i ask you what is the absolute value function of uh, minus 3 that will be 3 and if i ask you what is the absolute value of 3 that also will be 3 so basically if i ask you what is absolute value of minus 2.5 that will be 2.5 so this is absolute value function what it will do it will make everything positive whatever to this absolute value function whatever you give whatever input you give so okay for example if i give 0 the result will be 0 but if i give minus 1 the result will be 1 so this will make everything positive this will make everything uh, i can say non uh, non negative okay so on this base set your base set is set of whole numbers and if you define this operation then whatever two whole numbers you take whatever two positive uh, non negative integers you take then definitely this okay a minus b absolute value function definitely this also will be a whole number so i can say yes this is a binary operation so this option c this is a binary operation on set of non negative integers next let's see next so on set of rational numbers can i say this a star b is equal to square root of absolute value of a b so can i say this is a uh, can i say that this is a uh, binary operation this is not a binary operation because you are okay in option d you have a set of rational number and you are defining this operation and this operation we are defining as square root of absolute value of a b so this is how we are defining this operation so you can notice this is also not closed this is not closed so i can say because this is not closed so this is star this is not a binary operation on q I can say this is not a binary operation. Why this is not a binary operation? Because this is not closed. The closure property is not satisfied. So this is not a binary operation on set of rational number. Because what you can do? You can take a equal to 1 and you can take b equal to 2. Then what will be a star b? a star b will be square root of 2. And this square root of 2 is not a rational number. This square two or root of 2, this is not a rational number. Okay, so basically this is your rational numbers. And you can notice square root of 2 this is not a rational number so i can say this is not a, this is not a binary operation on set of rational number next on set of real numbers can i say square root of x square plus y square yes this is a binary operation this is a binary operation because if you take any two real number then this also will be a real number okay because you are doing x square plus y square square root okay so that also will be a real number so this is a binary operation what about the next so on the set of real number on set of real number you are defining this binary operation this operation you are defining absolute value of x plus y minus 1 yes this all this is also binary operation because if you take any two real number any two real number you take then this also will be a real number okay next on the set of real number you are defining x star y equal to max of x comma y yes this is also a binary operation because if you take any two real number if you take then max of those two bind uh, if you take any two real number then max of max of those two real number also will be a real number okay so this is also binary operation on set of real number next on set of real number x star y is equal to x y divided by x plus y plus one this is not a binary operation on set of real number okay so this adds on set of real number you are defining this operation and you are saying that if you have two real number a comma b then a star b this is how you are defining this operation and you are saying a star b is equal to a b divided by a plus b plus 1. Okay, so this is not closed. I can say this star, this operation, this operation is not a binary operation on set of real number. This is not a binary operation. Why this is not a binary operation? Because you can take a equal to minus 1, you can take b equal to 0. If you take a equal to minus 1, b equal to 0, because these are real number. a is minus 1 is real number, 0 is real number. Then what will be a star b? a star b will be 0 divided by 0. And this is not a real number. Okay, 0 divided by 0. This is not a real number. So finally, I can say that this is also not closed. So this r comma star, this operation. So this operation is not a binary operation on set of real numbers. Okay, so this is your question. And we have seen all the variations. Okay. So in the next video, in the next lecture, we will study what is associative property and what is commutative property.